Okay, today we're going to talk uh, RFI flywheels. So, um, we have this 2005 uh, Sea-Doo 787 RFI. And it is, it came in uh, making a lot of noise and backfiring and stuff like that. And it wouldn't run hardly at all. And so what we found out when we took the engine out is, uh, we here's the end of the flywheel, or I mean that flywheel, the uh, crankshaft and see how it wobbled out the keyway right there. So, which meant that it wouldn't stay in time. Here's the original flywheel, which has gotten a little rust on it now. We've had it outside here for a while. So we're waiting on a new flywheel. But anyways, I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you see how damaged that is? That is trashed. So I ordered another one on eBay and so they sent me it and guess what the guy didn't take a picture of that and show that this one was damaged too so uh that i had to order a third one and this time i asked the guy hey can you double check to make sure the keyway is good there so anyways um a uh, couple things about this problem so when you install the flywheel uh, on these, I don't know what it is about these RFIs, but we see them coming loose quite a bit. Uh, uh, you should be like putting Loctite, you know, put it in the keyway and then put Loctite. I would put Loctite all over this and then put it on and, and then hammer it on because uh, it is just, uh, they're just coming loose like terrible. So I, I'm not sure because of the design of the thing or what. But there is another thing about 787 RFI flywheels. There's two different kinds. So this one is off of a 98 or 99. And it is, uh, if you notice, the teeth are kind of small. There are these teeth. These, uh, these teeth right here. Not, not the starter to your teeth, but these teeth are kind of small. And uh, they are different from the 05. I have no idea why Sea-Doo does this kind of stuff. Yamaha would never, ever do that. They would have the same flywheel across every year than I, they do for any model. If, like take their 1200 non-power valve motor that has the same flywheel every year they ever made it. But for some reason, Sea-Doo decided, hey, let's throw a wrench in the works and let's design a completely new flywheel uh, so that uh, we can screw everybody up. And so you got to be careful when you buy these so notice the difference in the width of the of these teeth and how small these ones are this one comes on the 05 this one 98 to 04 so in 05 they changed it and it does matter you're thinking hey what does that matter right it's got to be the same the same um timing on it wrong you would be wrong notice the keyway right here and notice where the uh the op that that's where it's hitting at right here right so now notice the keyway here and notice where it's hitting down here down here so it's completely reversed actually it's not even reversed it's like 120 degrees difference and if you put and we've tried it we put this one on this one here and thought hey you know what what could be the difference and sure enough it won't run so we popped it back off and uh, we ordered up the right one because I happen to have these ones in stock. But these 05 ones are harder to come by. So um, anyways, that's the difference. Notice the size of here. I would use definitely a lot of Loctite around the crankshaft itself. Around the crankshaft, all in this area when I put it in and on the keyway in order to kind of try to lock that onto this shaft. Because uh, these obviously are having problems. This particular one right here that this ski was parted out on. They probably didn't realize that, that that was the reason it wasn't running right is because the timing was off on it. And they probably parted out that ski uh, because of that problem without knowing, hey, the flywheel is bad and because it won't run right. They, they make different symptoms. It'll like, it'll like run and it'll be like, you know, it'll only do three or four or 5,000 RPMs and you, you can't figure out why. It's just really boggy like, and you start changing injectors and ray valves and you know compression testing it and doing all kinds of things when it's actually the problems on the flywheel anyways hope this information helps uh thanks for watching please like and subscribe
to my channel and we'll talk to you later. Bye.